Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. With the temperatures rising and everything warming up, I thought it would be a good time to talk about ways that we can refresh our outdoor spaces. Now, you might not be rebuilding and refinishing your deck or completely painting your house, all the things that I've done to my exterior, but today I wanna to talk about some small things that anyone can do that will make the exterior of our homes look much nicer. One of the most simple and effective things that we can do for the exterior of our homes is just to pick everything up and give everything a good cleaning and that'll automatically brighten and refresh everything. Okay, so here's the front area of the house. I've been working in the back of the house so much that this has been kind of neglected. So we're gonna clean all this, clean the door, take care of all these leaves and just get it looking nice and fresh. Okay, I'm not spending hours picking every single leaf out of here because they're just gonna blow back in, some of them. But that looks a lot better. But this is an update. If you remember the video that I did on the flower beds and the tree trimming, when we trimmed these bushes and they looked like bald old men, someone commented. But um, here is an update. They are coming back in. So that's really exciting. So we didn't have to replace those. I'm just using my hose and the jet setting on the little sprayer to spray off this garage door because it wasn't super dirty. It was mainly just covered in sawdust from me cutting things in the garage. If it was really dirty, I would use my power washer. But for this wall right here, the lime wash, it gets kind of dirty and so I'm just using a very soft setting on the hose because I just want to get off the dirt. I don't want to spray anything really hard that's going to affect the lime wash and cause it to start flaking or anything at all. So the city came and installed a new piece of concrete sidewalk and it really made me see how dirty the sidewalks were in front of my house. So I decided to go and pressure wash those. I do plan to do the driveway eventually, but I'm gonna have to see when I can find time to do that. But that would also make a big difference to make things look updated and cleaner. Okay, we've got everything out here looking all clean. We just have one more thing to do out front. And I know this is gonna be controversial, controversial, because so many of you told me that you liked the house better without the windows, the solar screens. But guys, this is Texas and it's super hot. So we're gonna give them a try and see if it helps with our electric bill.
So you may notice that the screens look a little bit different from when I took them off. I did not like the solid black. It kind of just looked like a big black hole to me. So I used white electrical tape to mimic the grids on the windows. Honestly, I'm not sure how well this is gonna hold up. This is just an experiment. The electrical tape is supposed to be waterproof and made for indoor outdoors. So we will see, but I just wanted to give it a shot to see if it could help with the electric bill and also be a little bit prettier. And I seriously thought I was done with the ladders and done with climbing up on this little roof, but here I am doing it once again, still terrified of heights, but hopefully this electric tape trick works so I don't have to climb back up here again to take them down. All right, what do we think of the solar screens? I don't hate it, I really don't. I put the electrical tape on it to give it grids, to give it a little bit more interest. And I'm gonna see if it saves us any money on electric bills because that is more important than exactly how it looks. Unless I hated it, but I think we're gonna keep it like this for a while. We are now moving into the backyard and one thing that needed a serious makeover was this grill that we had. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and remove any of the wood pieces because I'm going to be spray painting the grill and I don't want the overspray to get on the wood. Before I start spray painting, I'm going to use this wire brush to kind of just rough up the surface. It's already rough, but it's going to remove any loose pieces that are hanging off because our spray paint will not stick to that. And then I'm going to go in with this high heat spray paint. I'll put it in the description box down below, but it's perfect for the grill, which is obviously going to get really hot. Okay, I wasn't happy with how like this was looking. You could still see where the old finish was. So I took my sander and smoothed it down. And so hopefully when we go back over it with the spray paint, you won't see where old finish is and then the new finish is gonna be. To get this wood looking nice and new, I'm going to take my sander and sand all of the weathered gray off. And then I'm going to go in with some Danish oil to stain it and it'll look brand new.
I still have to get, I got a new thermometer thing for right there and I'm still soaking the grates, but that looks tons better than it did. Another thing that we're gonna do that's gonna make our exterior look so much better is we're gonna pressure wash this fence. So I've already started and you can see that I did that yesterday and did a little bit over there today and how much of a difference it makes. It looks so much better. So many of you have told me that you are like me and you enjoy watching pressure washing videos. There's just something so satisfying about watching everything get clean. I just wish I could work this fast in real life. But while we watch this, I just want to say thank you guys for being here. Thank you for subscribing if you are subscribed and a little behind the scenes of YouTube. So I'm able to see like rates of people watching and how long they're watching and I've noticed a significant jump in the last few weeks and it tells me that it's because my regular viewers are watching for longer and engaging more with my videos which is causing YouTube to recommend my videos more to more people. So every time you like a video or leave a comment it really helps my channel out and I really appreciate it so thanks for being here guys. If you saw last week's video, you saw me finish up this deck space. Hey Gizmo, this is my friend. Um, but this keeps happening with this rug, so I think I have a solution for that. I'm using this carpet tape. It's made for indoors and outdoors. And it's basically just like double-sided tape. So I'm gonna stick it onto one side of the rug and then trim it down to the length that I need and take this backing off and then stick it down to the deck and it should like not blow up anymore with the wind or anything. You can also use this inside for your rugs that might be curling at the corners. I'll link it down below. The next thing that I'm going to do to make everything look nice and neat back here in the backyard is I'm just going to install this hose holder and I use my hose a lot because I have a pool and I'm always adding water to it and I kind of just throw it over there by the side of the house when I'm done with it but I'm going to install this onto this siding and then that way I can just roll it up whenever I'm done and it'll look nice and neat and kind of be hidden behind these flowers. The last thing that I'm doing in the backyard is I'm installing these um, string lights. What I like about these is they are solar powered, so I don't have to remember to plug them in and turn them on and worry about that. And also they have a dusk till dawn feature, which I think is really cool. So they just come on as soon as it gets dark and they turn off when the sun comes up and they don't put out too much light to where you know, my neighbors or anyone get annoyed with them and I feel like I need to turn them off, but it really kind of sets a cool mood out back when the sun goes down. 
I got these off of Amazon. I'll also put these down below in the description box and I'm really happy with them. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and were maybe inspired to do some outdoor projects in your space. This is gonna be the last outdoor video for a while because we've officially hit 100 degrees in Texas and it's hot, so we will be moving inside. Lots more projects coming up. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any of them. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.